Welcome back to the Co Graphic Design channel. Today I'm going to show you how to design this. How you can edit your mock up exactly like this using a vacuum mock up. Let's start. So now I'm in my Photopea. So you go to www.photopea.com using your Chrome browser. Then you click on File. Locate where your mock up is. That is exactly what I'm trying to do now. Go to your device. The mock up I use here. It's called a facade mockup. You can download this at the description area of this video. You import the mockup directly, as you can see. I've imported the mockup where I extracted it to. If you don't know how to extract the mockup or you don't know anything, you can go to my video, check the video, my playlist. You will see how amazing you can extract your mockup and use it perfectly on your photo P. So the mockup is loading. But one thing I want you to know is that it is. Each mock-up have different times, different duration for them to load, for it to load. So you have to be very patient when you are working with this uh, particular mock-up and try at least to show you because this is called facet, facet mock-up because of some things that in the phone is not really capable to run the mock-up very faster due to the memory and the RAM of the phone and the network at times. You're getting it so you have to be very patient when you are working with this kind of mock-up so having you wait you see the mock-up is still loading so you need to wait for the mock-up to get loaded you wait so you take everything cannot even up to five minutes no matter how slow or how long twisting the mock the network is you 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 just be watching looking at the screen of your phone you discover that uh, you see the mock-up has what has loaded now this is how the mock-up is so i click on lay then you see your design i double click it then i now hide it so now i click on file again i'm going to import my design the design i made with a uh, uh, pcl I'll have to watch the PNG design. I will place it, position it on it. Then I will make sure that the design really fits in on the layer that I just generated. So, um, you see the way I'm trying at least to use the handle that's around the design. I'm trying at least to use it. To place and purpose, I mean to position the more uh, the design very well on the layer. You have to be very careful because at times when you are trying at least to fit in the design, it might be rotating. So you need to grip the uh, handle icon that surround it, handle shape that surround it for you to be able to drag it very well and fit in on the design. I mean on the layer. So as you can see, see the way I'm doing it. So having done that after you just wait because you look at the top then look at the bottom if a particular if a little design is escaped and enter it means when the result is out there's no way to be affected you see the way how it's rotating so you have to be very careful you have to be very careful you have to be very careful the position you just draw it drag it out make it zoom make it fitting because the way you input that is how the output will be it's not yet done it's not yet done because you look at the top it's still escape still escape i think it's okay like this then click on file then click on save with smart objects click on save with smart objects so when you click on it, this is where you have to exercise much patience. You have to exercise much patience. At this junction, you exercise much patience. Because the mock-up, as I told you earlier, it takes a little time before it will transform. So you have to wait. Look at the screen, just drop it. You look at the screen of your phone. And one, it the smart object is updated. I will still tell you a trick, what to do. 
and how to do it i'm going to click on what you click i will tell you so that the result so continue exercising the patient why the mock-up is try at least to process underground and transformed so you need to patient you need to extra ordinary patient so the mock-up will pop up the result will transform as soon as possible just exercise patient exercise patient one smart object is updated there is one thing i will show you to click so that at least you can drop your phone and be doing other things and you check your phone the screen of your phone in no time you discover that the, uh, your your design has been transformed automatically you just need to be very patient when you are working with those mock up there is no any magic there there is no any magic there no magic you study it and know the concept once you understand the concept there is no way you won't have any issue with it and for the sake of those people that are always complaining about their phones maybe their phone is not uh, did not run the makeup well or something of that stuff i want you to uh, to be clear about this three gig ram can run the mockup two gig ram can run the mockup but there are some steps you can take at times even if you have been running the mockup on your phone and it stop working or processing clear the catchy free space on your phone are you getting it so that the mockup can work very well always know how to create, delete or i mean delete permanently the junk file on your phone it can make the the your even browsing to be very very slow uh, and make everything to be nagging so you need to free something know how to understand your phone very well and how to work along with it i run mock-up uh, you see the smart object has been updated so in this essence you go you see there are two things at the top you see the shop facet and you see the rectangle double click on the shop facet when you double click it that is what i just did when you double click it just be looking at the screen of your phone just be looking at it so the result will what we came out in no time the result will come out in no time Everything cannot even take you 10 minutes to do the mock-up and other stuff. And if you are very interested in the design I just made, I'm using, I just imported, you can check in my last video how I make this particular design. Watch it step by step. I use another mock-up. I, I did design using another uh, mock-up pattern in that one as well. You can quickly check that how this was made. But I'm trying at least to uh, uh, show you how you can edit other mock up aside from all this uh, glass mock up. So you can actually edit other mock up successfully if you know how to uh, 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 how to edit it on your photo bay. But the, uh, the size really matter at times when you have a larger size of uh, uh, the mock-up is very very large in size there is no way your phone might not be able to load it depend it maybe it is 6 gig ram are you getting it because there are some mock up that is another thing is this you see the result is out as you can see you see the result the result is out so i have to do some crazy things here click on your lay then you go back just scroll back you started when you scroll back you see the shadow then you see shadow you see come to your normal then you can darken because you could discover that there are some white whitish uh, particle that surround the mocker that don't allow it to work i click on uh, the options at the top you see the option i'm clicking you can see the 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 dots that was showing that you see i want those you see Darking, let me change it to 
your weight let me change it to add uh, uh, subtract no subtract dark or light it's still okay you see i'm just testing it to see how it work that is how you can just apply crazy stuff it will make your design very okay if it is not really newer and not really look mature you can use lighting you see how it will look like you can change the background you can change anything on this lay depending on how you really understood this thing so you see i hide the texture if you don't hide the texture there let me tell you it means the texture that come along with the mock-up will be the one that will show and it will cover this picture you see i've done that then you go to your export and save as a either jpg or png thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to click the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever i update my uh, channel and feel free to contact me my digit is at the description area my whatsapp my facebook my instagram and do is at the description area you can feel free to chat me anytime if you are facing any problem running any design you have any work to do you don't have any idea on how to go about it or you would like any of my design on anything feel free I will share it with you. Thank you for watching. God bless you.